Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how we can convert a PowerShell script into an EXE so that you can run your PowerShell script to extract as an EXE information. As an example here I have this PowerShell script which can able to connect through service principle that's my favorite options in connecting Power BI and then extract all the workspace level detail information into a CSV. So this is a long PowerShell script which is there. It can extract all the beautiful information. We can talk about this PowerShell script in some other videos, but here this video is mainly to convert this PowerShell script into an exe file. This is really a cool, amazing thing. You just need to install this step here, which is install dash module dash name, which is ps 2 exe and then space scope current user. For current user, it is going to install here. So you can copy this here and then install this in a PowerShell ISE. I open this PowerShell windows as an administrator mode. And when I hit enter here, this is going to execute this and then it's going to extract this information from the web and install over here. Now, if you think about whether this is a reliable source or not, but as you can see it here, as you can see it here, this is basically the powershellgallery.com and this is what the key which I copied here. And at the bottom, you can see this is actually from Microsoft Corporations. So which is basically safe to use this one. All right. So now the next thing is you need to use this ps2exe.ps1. That's a command. And then you need to pass dash input file. And then you need to pass your file location where you have this PowerShell file and then dash output file and pass the name how you need this exe to be available so once it is passed and you can just run only this particular line we don't need to run again this install module and if i click run here this is going to run this powershell script as you can see at the blue screen below and this has been worked here and it has been compiled into this location now if i go to that location in my windows it is already installed here pbi multi underscore vs ws that's the name i also given it here in powershell now i can directly just double click here in order to execute that as it contains everything which is my powershell script uh, the tenant id client id client secret so it is now giving me a five different workspaces it has access to that for some reason, this is giving me an error. That's not an issue. Okay, the capacity is not active. It has given clear image message here. Maybe that has given a different capacity. Now, after that, it's actually going one by one workspace, which is like 18 demo. And then it's extracting each and every data set and extracting all the table level information from each and every data semantic model here. That's really cool. It's looping all the different data set semantic model which it has and then it disconnects from that particular workspace and again it is connecting to another workspace which is re regular two version yeah that's the third one and it will go to the fourth and then four fifth one is scanner so if you scroll down it's going to extract all this workspace one by one and giving me all this information here now this is going into the third one and finally it extracts all the informations here now if i go to this download page because by default i asked is to download store it on a download folder so you can see it here, this is the one. And this is now the time which I'm running up here. And if I open up this CSV file, this gives me the clear information about all the workspace level information. So it is contained workspace name, workspace ID, data set name, table name, object name, and the object name as well. Not only that, it also giving the information about the measures and mQuery, all the data source database information as well. So if I give you this detail here at high level, if I filter it out on the object type, it is giving me the column level information, measure level and partition means it is also giving me about the table level information here. As you can see, this is the measure table and this is ERP table. And also it has extracted all the M queries all inside to that. What is the logic inside to that? And the database sources and database names as well. So from here on, if you want to build anything analytic purpose, you can also do it from here. So if you want to know detail about what is that PowerShell script does, this one, please let me know in the comment section below so that I can walk you through that detail in future videos. But for now, this is about how you can convert your PowerShell script 
as an exe so you can queue to any of your client as a package solution if they don't want to run any powershell script within their environment if you like this video just hit the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video